Hello my loves and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor Hoffinger. Thank you so so much for watching. Anyone who knows me knows that this has been my dream and my passion ever since I was a little girl up in my bedroom recording videos on my pink and white polka dot Fujifilm camera. So this means the absolute world to me. I want my channel to be a safe space and a happy space for anyone to come and join and watch and feel like they are welcomed. This channel means the absolute world to me, so if you would like, comment, and subscribe, that would mean everything to me. Without further ado, let's get into this everyday makeup routine for my rosacea skin. Okay, my friends, let's go ahead and get started. I am starting with a blank canvas. I'm going to be going in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This stuff is incredible if you suffer with rosacea. It blurs your pores, completely gets rid of redness. As you can see, it soothes it on this side compared to this side. This stuff is expensive, I will say that, but it's well worth the price and I highly suggest this if you suffer with rosacea. Initially, I thought that Tatcha products were gonna be extremely fragranced and that was gonna be harmful to my rosacea prone skin. However, I do not find any sensitivity with this product. I know others do with rosacea, but it's all about trial and error when it comes to rosacea. So, after applying my primer, I'm going to be going in with this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Total Coverage Foundation. This stuff is also incredible if you suffer with rosacea. It's not super fragranced, so it's, it's awesome. If you do suffer with rosacea, I would highly suggest staying away from fragrance products. Now, in this Laura Mercier Foundation, I am a mix between the shade Linen and Macadamia. I tend to mix the two depending upon how tan I am. Right now, I am a little bit more on the fair side, so I will tend to put more macadamia on my face as opposed to linen. Now, let's discuss how my rosacea all started. First and foremost, it is hereditary in my family. My grandma suffers from rosacea. Uh, she gets pink, irritated skin all the time, like I do. And secondly, in high school, I over exfoliated my skin. My skin in high school was extremely dry, so I thought the best way to combat that was to exfoliate the crap out of it. And that, now I know, has damaged my skin completely. So, as a message to all, don't over exfoliate your skin. If your skin is dry, there are other ways to take care of it than using the strongest Clarisonic brush and over exfoliating your skin. Okay, after finishing up with foundation, I'm going to be going in with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. This stuff is also incredible. I work long hours and I get really bad under eye bags when I'm not drinking enough water or getting enough sleep. And this concealer is definitely my holy grail when I'm not getting enough sleep or drinking enough water. Next, I'm going to be going in with this Chanel Universal Powder to bake underneath my eyes. This combination with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is absolutely beautiful. This powder is very lightweight. I find that the Laura Mercier setting powder was a little bit too intense and drying on my under eye. However, this powder is perfect. It doesn't irritate my eyes, doesn't make them dry, and I highly recommend this Chanel powder. And next I'm going to be going in with this Cover FX Powder Foundation in the shade Neutral 20. This stuff is also incredible. It's extremely full coverage, so beware but I highly recommend this product as well. And next I'm gonna be going in with this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. This bronzer is beautiful. I have turned all of my friends onto this bronzer. It has just the slightest sheen to it. It's not glittery, it doesn't have any chunks of glitter in it. It just makes the skin look healthy and radiant and beautiful. And I would highly recommend this bronzer to anyone. I am in the shade light when I am more fair, however when I do have a spray tan on, I am in the shade regular bronze. And don't forget to bronze your neck as well. And I'm going to be going in with the same bronzer to contour my nose. So let's chat about the top four ingredients and products that you should completely avoid if you struggle with rosacea. First and foremost, stripping alcohols. 
Alcohols are known to dry out your skin as is, and with rosacea, dry skin only makes it more irritated. See, the problem with rosacea is that the outermost layer of the skin is completely compromised to the environment at all times. So the goal to beat rosacea is to build that outermost layer of your skin up in order to combat those harsh environmental factors. The number two most harmful ingredient in your products is witch hazel. Witch hazel is far too powerful, strong, and stripping to the skin, so I would avoid it at all costs if you have rosacea. The third ingredient would be peppermint. Peppermint is too spicy on your skin, so completely avoid that as well. And the fourth and final ingredient to avoid is going to be acids. Acids on your skin are too harmful. Eventually, if you work up to it and you see a li licensed esthetician, they can help you work up to the amount of acid that your skin can handle. But in the meantime, if you're doing that at home by yourself, please avoid it. It will help your rosacea so much. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm using this Urban Decay Essential Eye Tool in the number E217. This eye tool is incredible, and I'm also going to be going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. I do find these Anastasia Brow Pencils the spoolie breaks off all the time and it's extremely frustrating, so I just bought that essential eye tool to have on hand at all times. That way if I ever come upon the problem of the spoolie breaking off, I will always have a spoolie in my kit to use. Okay, and then next I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is super glue for your eyebrows. Some say that you can get a really good brow gel at the drugstore. I, however, always gravitate back towards this. This brow product is just a game changer. Okay, and then I'm going to be going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Black. Okay, and then I'm going to be hitting my cheekbones and my cupid's bow and my upper brow with this Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. This stuff is beautiful. It's like gold butter. Wow! And then I'm going to be using this Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Spray. This stuff is also incredible if you suffer with rosacea. We need to be protecting our skin at all times from external environmental factors that can be harsh and stripping to our skin. And the fact that this is pollution protection and it protects you from the outside environment is incredible. So I highly recommend this product as well. So before I go in with mascara and finish off my lips, I just wanted to let you know if you do struggle with rosacea, it's okay. It's not embarrassing. I used to be afraid and hide it, but now I've embraced it. And the main goal with rosacea is just to find your main triggers and figure out how to manage those triggers. So for me, my main triggers are the gym, heavy cardio exercise, caffeinated drinks, extremely hot showers. So what I tend to do is I limit caffeinated drinks, I take lukewarm showers, and I also wash my skin with lukewarm water. And with exercising, I do heavy cardio anyways. I do not let rosacea hold me back from that. I used to let it hold me back from that, but I have learned just to embrace it and to not really care. So my main tips are find your triggers and manage them. Figure out how to rise above and figure out how to manage those triggers so that way you can live a normal life, not embarrassed by your red skin. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this Hourglass Lip Liner in the shade Panoramic. I'm going to be using this Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Hot Toddy. I'm going to be using the infamous L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in the shade Carbon Black. This mascara is excellent if you want everyday wispy eyelashes. And then last but not least I'm going to be going in with this Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara on my lower lashes. 
and I do believe they stopped selling this at all the stores. I have looked everywhere for this mascara and I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm gonna need to start a new lower lash mascara. I'm thinking Mac Giga Black lower lash mascara. I've heard really good things about that. So that may be in my next mascara, but it makes me so sad because this is my holy grail product for my lower lashes. And the last thing that I wanted to chat to you guys about today is this Tiger Grass Sika Pear Cream from Dr. Jart. This product is a game changer if you have rosacea. Please go out and buy it. The problem with rosacea is that our outermost layer of our skin is constantly vulnerable, inflamed, red, and exposed to harsh environmental influences. This moisturizer creates a barrier over the skin that completely protects it from every single ex external factor. This moisturizer is thick, I will say that, but it needs to be because with rosacea we need that protection from the outside world. So I highly recommend this product. It even has a green tint to it, so it's going to disguise that redness and camouflage it. And as a matter of fact, I do believe they have camo drops within the line as well. I haven't tried those, but I've heard excellent things for rosacea as well. So I highly suggest trying that Sick Pear line from Dr. Jart. Okay, my friends, and that is all for this everyday makeup routine with my rosacea skin. Thank you so, so much for watching my first ever YouTube video. I would appreciate it more than you would ever know. If you would like, comment, subscribe, support this channel in my journey, it would mean the absolute world to me. Anyways, have a magical day, and I hope to see you in my next YouTube video. Mwah!